Hi KB, I want to go over our reading work for today, Tuesday, March 31st. We have a little bit of work to do in our packets, but we're going to start with our little reader. Our little reader is called, is titled Max. Don't forget, put your name at the top, your first and your last name. And then I want you to go through these pages after you make your book. Go through these pages, read them a few times. Remember, it's not a race. Take your time, sound out any words you don't know. A lot of these words you do know by now. A lot of them are sight words or sounds that we've worked a lot with, okay? So you're going to read your story, Max, a few times. Read it to somebody in your house who can sit with you. Read it maybe by yourself. Read it to a stuffed animal or a pet. Read it to anybody who will listen, okay? And then what I would like you to do, all of the words in this story that have an X in them, our letter of the week is X, all of the words that have an X, please circle those words, use your spy eyes, take your time. And then we have color words as well. Boys and girls, every time you find a color word, I want you to underline the word with the color. So for example, we'll do the first one together. On page three, we have some color words. You might recognize this one right here, B-L-U-E. B blue blue so go ahead and underline this word with blue because it spells blue and then you're going to look for the other color words in the story do the exact same thing underline the words with the color that they spell okay so you're circling words with x and underlining your color words then we are going to come into our packet we have Page 337 is where we left off. We're starting here, 337 at the bottom. Again, you have color words at the top. Sound these out. If it helps you, like we did in the last packet, circle these words with the color that they spell. That might help you. You don't have to do that. Then you're going to read each sentence and write the correct word from up here on the line to finish each sentence. And then you can color these pictures any color that you like, okay? When we turn to page 338, on this page, boys and girls, we need to correct the sentence. There are two things wrong with our sentence. So you're going to read your sentence, and then you're gonna figure out, hmm, what's missing? Something about the first letter of our sentence. Is it supposed to be lowercase? What do you think? Is that correct, the C being lowercase? And also, we have something missing at the end of our sentence. Boys and girls, you're going to rewrite your sentence. Don't forget to use your two-finger space, but make it correct. So we need a word, we need a letter to have a capital we need one of, we need either the beginning or the end. You tell me. Does the first letter need to be capitalized or the last letter? What do you think? And then we need something at the end here. This is a question. When you read it out loud, you will see that this is a question. So what do we need at the end of our sentence? Okay? Then you're going to draw a picture that matches that sentence. Okay, use your imagination. When we come to page 339, boys and girls, you are going to spell these words. Do your very best, sound each letter out, and spell the words to match the pictures. And then if your word ends with X, you may color it. If it does not end with X, do not color it. Okay, and the last page in our phonics packet for today is page 340-340. And at the top, we have three pictures at the top and three pictures at the bottom. Our directions ask us to draw a line from what happened 
to why it happened. So look at your three pictures. Start with your first one. The light is on, it's shining here. So what happened? Let's draw a line to why it happened. Is this light on because the boy is in the garden? Is this light on because the woman changed the light bulb? Is this light on because it's raining outside? So take your time and draw lines between what happened and why it happened, and then you can color it, okay? I know that's a bit of work for us today, but you guys can do it. Great job. Keep up the hard work. Bye-bye.